First of all, I would like to thank you uh, for being here in Ethiopia, and then also thank uh, the organizers for making this happen among us. It's a wonderful time for us also to reflect about ourselves, which was not the case usually. <clears throat> so um, here I am, uh, only trying to share you um, the context to understand what's going on in this country and this region of Africa, and then also only to raise some questions. I'm not here to share any solutions, as you can imagine, how complex the fact is and, and, and then the reality is. Um, probably I would deviate from reading reality uh, from the state minister uh, in sharing uh, the context which uh, trigger urbanization in this country. Uh, here I have a diagram. I call it uh, a disaster loop which characterized this nation for so long where we have uh, a cycle of disasters uh, which gave us a name and an identity and a global stage. Um, you have, uh, I don't have to explain that one in these five minutes. And then the uh, successive regimes have been trying to break this disaster loop through uh, various uh, local and international attempts, um, be it uh, family planning or uh, technology, whatnot, uh, particularly focusing on uh, rural development. Um, Yes, of course, but uh, one can claim that this disaster loop has been somehow loosened up, and, and I argue that it is not yet broken, still. Um, so in my view, at least, understanding the forces which are driving this crazy, speedy, challenging, I would use the term massive urbanization in this country, uh, would help us to address it properly. Uh, unlike. Uh, uh, European urbanization, also um, uh, urbanization in, in, in Asia, of course, uh, urbanization that we witness here has uh, different roots, I argue. Uh, one of it is the rapid uh, population growth, uh, young, multiple, complex diversities uh, in, the, in the population, and predominantly rural in terms of culture uh, based on subsistence farming. You can see the numbers, which is quite staggering and uh, quite challenging. Uh, and then simply to, uh, to sketch you uh, some sort of uh, a number, uh, I, I simply project that around five million souls seek a place in cities every year in this country. You can imagine the intensity of urbanization in, 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 through this number, which means it demands an urban production to a size of uh, Addis Ababa every year which means we have to build Addis Ababa, one Addis Ababa every year in order to accommodate all these souls. The second one, which we have to uh, open up to understand, is uh, the environmental challenge, uh, particularly in the areas where the majority of Ethiopians are residing and then also toiling to make life work, which is the highlands. Uh, water and fertile land on sites where the majority lives. Ethiopian highlands are the most challenged environmentally landscapes in the world where you have 90% um, of Ethiopians are living uh, above uh, 1,500 meters. And then these are where uh, lives are happening and these are where the challenges are. And the third one is the regional and local political uncertainties as a, a driving force for also urbanization. In understanding urbanization, I'm referring to the shift of population from rural areas and rural settlements to urban realities and urban settlements. And uh, regional and local political uncertainties are also one of the forces uh, which are uh, pressuring mm -hmm. us. You can imagine what is happening right away and then also, oh my God, uh, it goes on. I'll just uh, 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 share you some of the things. And the fourth one would be economic opportunities and uncertainties uh, local and global uncertainties and opportunities. I think the state minister was also articulating on these facts. Yes, so we hope urbanization would be uh, the last frontier that one has to explore in breaking the loop of disaster in this region, I believe, and uh, I hope. Uh, uh, and probably uh, when one talks about urbanization, probably uh, reality uh, in this part of the world demands our urbanization trend and, and modalities and modes and our cities uh, to be envisioned as places for at least uh, environmental rehabilitation. I just want to articulate on this. Um, when I say environmental rehabilitation, 
that cities, which we have to imagine in this part of the world, uh, will have to uh, be places uh, to heal the already fragile environment by relieving the rural environment, the rural landscape. I'm not trying to seduce and impress you by claiming this thing. Uh, but uh, if this thing has been done, has, has not been done anywhere else anyways, we have to do it here. And the other one is probably uh, that our cities have to be envisioned uh, to create opportunities for livelihood production. And uh, of course I'm stopping. And then also uh, on the other corner, I argue that our future cities, which we have the chance to do, uh, have to be envisioned with a special quality and justice worthy of human dignity. I have to stop, thank you very much.